Good to see you all again. We are picking up where we left off on the Freedom Trail before we kind of got waylaid at Haymarket. This is the last place I remember seeing the line of wonder. I wonder where it goes through from here. Let's see. Probably walls up the Oh no no no. Now I remember. It goes this way up towards Faneuil Hall. And will we find anything? Of course, Hancock being our new companion. Somewhere. He, he'll, he'll catch up. He, he was just busy. Preoccupied. Took him away at a bad time. Oh, hello. Let's play, little human. Oh, you gonna, you gonna drop that? You gonna drop that? Ah, I thought so. Ooh. Smack. A little boop in the nose and he is dead. 5R. 5R. Okay, can I read this? Did we read this before? Uh, donated to the city in 1742 by French merchant Peter Fanuel. Uh, Fanuel Hall was a commercial hub in colonial Massachusetts. It played a notable role in the American Revolution. Protests against the British Sugar and Stamps Act that began here led to the doctrine of no taxation without representation. Later meetings were held here, which commun uh, accumulated in the Boston Tea Party. Many of the founding fathers met here, gave speeches, notably Samuel Adams, leading to the building's nickname, The Cradle of Liberty. What a cool place. Can we visit that in the future? Oh. Oh, you're right, there is probably enemies about. Hey, I got something. Very easy. That doesn't sound easy though. Someone there. Okay. Oh my! I was far enough away. Lies, lies. That killed me. I don't believe it. Made for good screenplay, but I still. what though i've noticed a significant change in the items that the super mutants are carrying um they seem to all be ch carrying like really good assault rifles and lasers and it's great don't get me wrong not complaining in the slightest um makes them a bit more formidable although none of them have been that, that difficult like, let's, let's face it <laughs> right so freedom trail continues to here Follow it along. Vanishes again. Ho ho! I never knew about you behind here. Oh. Wow. Wow. So, let me tell you something. This was actually marked as an unmarked location right here. And I searched high and low and could not find it. Obviously, there's one over here too. But there was two dots. So that's obviously what it was referring to. Hold on, I need to make a note of that. I actually thought this was paused on me for a bit, so I'll need to remember him, because that's quite uh, that's quite a cool wee little location. And I keep doing just trash bins. Know what I want to do? I might do just a wee thing where I run about and I only raid trash cans for like the first, or just, just trash cans, and see how long it takes. Or what I can collect in like an hour of just running about collecting trash bins and staying alive. That sounds like a really dire hour of my life, if but it sounds like fun. Find a use for that. Ooh. 8D next. Built in, or built in 1680, this wooden building is the oldest structure in all of Boston. In 1770, it was bought by the famed patriot Paul Revere. Uh, Paul Revere dwelled here with his family, including his 16 children. Damn. I thought my mum, uh, I thought my granny having nine was pretty mad. Uh, until 1800, suppose, having bigger families back then. You know, nowadays, what, one, two to three is kind of like 
Any more than three seen as quite the accomplishment, you know, let alone 16. Uh, living here when he was made, or when he made his famous midnight ride to Lexington and Concord to warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock that redcoats were en route to arrest them and seize the militia. Weaponry obviously didn't uh, pan out too well for the British in that one. Though it's funny, we learnt nothing about the American uh, Revolutionary War here. Zero. One R. Hmm. One R. Eight D. Church. One R. Eight D. Four L. Railroad. Railroad. Uh, yep, that sounds like it. Built in 1723, the old church, uh, the old North Church, is the oldest standing church in Boston. It's a 191 foot tall steeple, also makes it the tallest church in Boston. On the night of April 18th, 1775, Lieutenant Colonel Smith marched with 700 soldiers on Concord to, on a mission to disarm the rebels. Using a plan devised by Paul Revere, Robert Newman climbed to the top of the church, lit two lanterns to alert patriots that the redcoats were coming up the Charles River. Thus inspiring Longfellow's famous verse, one if by land, two if by sea. The battles of Lexington and Concord that followed started the Revolutionary War. Time to go into the railroad, I guess. Never been into their head. Well, went into their headquarters to get a skill book. Hmm. I have yet to buy the Fallout coffee, because I know you can get Fallout coffee. Um, I have my own. I I've been going through coffee brands in the last like six months. You're oh. dead. Yeah. Hey, Who wants I some? some oh, well. He tried and died. Braver than most. What's going on here? Hello. Oh, well, there's one that's dead. Downstairs, right? Well, there's a basement. Yes, we just check this place out. Make sure there's nothing lying about. Any of pews or... Ooh. Who's deciding to get up? Oh! Does this look like we skipped over something? Is it? Nah. Mustn't be. I know the skill book is in the Railroad HQ, so there's nothing really here. Oh, big organ. That uh, I think we need. Still good to walk about. What you might find lying around. Seems there was quite, quite the amount of people in here before it all went to uh, went to crap. There must be down below us, Hancock, because I don't actually see anyone. There will come a point that you'll be able to chat in game, and there'll be like an AI companion who'll like respond to you and all. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing yet, but definitely. I can I can make predictions and that's a big one. It's uh it's definitely gonna be something at the end of the future. Which will bring the good, the bad and the ugly with it all. So prepared for the future. Sounding like the vault tech rap. I was thinking that's what I would love to go for uh, Halloween. El Vault Tech Santist. Or I say Santa, maybe a doctor. Oh you're legendary. What is that? Radpar Disciples Armored Skirt. Disciples are from Nuka World? Grants additional strength the higher rads you have. Mmm. Mmm. That, that almost sounds appealing. You, you know what I mean? Here, you you know, you look like the chatty type. You know what I mean? It just, it's from the DLC. It doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> Peekaboo! Did I lift the wonder glue? Hey, that rhyme! Peekaboo, did I lift the wonder glue? Ah, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. <laughs> oh. See, the key to my style of just humour in general, apart from it being as dark as as, as a black hole at times, um, but that's more real life when you're encountering me, that's the type of humour I go for. Uh, I... I make jokes and I say things that make me laugh. If you laugh, that's just like a byproduct, and I think it makes things genuine, right? I have no idea what's this meant to be. Okay, so uh, ring one, spin clockwise. Okay, so oh, mm, it spins. Right, 
put it round to R. So we can do R. So let's start with R. Real. if I get through it the first time because I've never got through th this has always been a bit of a pain woohoo aren't I good stop right there you went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting but before we go any okay. further <laughs> answer <up>. my questions <laughs> Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the Synth's only friends. We're the Railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the Railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? In the city. Make something up. Don't know if that might negatively affect things, but I'll run with it. I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. I'm Desdemona, <laughs> Pass and that. I'm the leader Class. of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Is he a companion? Glad someone noticed. You know, <laughs> you're practically famous. Does the Silver Shroud mean anything to you? I heard he took out Sinjin's gang all by himself. Pretty remarkable, huh? And, as if that wasn't enough, you're the leader of the Minutemen. I hear you cleared out the castle. Everyone's talking about that. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger. No, I don't mind taking Why did you cool. want to meet with us anyway? Fight the Institute, my son. My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Oh, oh, it's bad. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge, but that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. That is really good. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. Really good coffee if we're I got. going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they real? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic, part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Hmm. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. Oops. <laughs> That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from the bondage. Hancock loved that. Give them Did a chance. Nice. Good a job. Life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? I wouldn't risk my life, no. Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. I can't like that. What the Institute okay, has done see. to your family Bumping and others is what drives us. Uh -huh. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay, good job. So we'll find the railroad. Ahem. 
Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Whatever keeps you alive. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. Ooh. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Uh -huh. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Good job. That sounds interesting, right? Well, we'll chat these people. Drummer boy. Excuse me. You didn't see anything suspicious coming in, right? Hi. Listen, G519 went through a lot, but she was good. Solid. I don't know if I did right by G5. This whole thing feels shitty. Oh. Kiri better be worth it. Right, so she was, she wasn't there, if I'm not mistaken, because obviously I hadn't met the railroad yet. So, she would have been the person to help Curie had I met them before this. Anyway. With Curie's scientific skills, there's a real chance she'll help a lot of people down the line. Yeah. Here's hoping. I should have said no. Damn it. Chief Five was like family and I let this happen. Just leave me alone. Oh. Excuse me. Saw some of your work along the trail. Not bad. For a human, that is. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, whatever. Listen, you caught us at a shit time. We're still recovering from something I can't get into. We're a man down, though. And if anything Deacon said about you is true, I'd like you on our team. I'm interested. Awesome. I think you'll be a good fit. I know Dez said we don't got room, but talk to Deacon. I'm sure he's got an angle. He always does. Okay, well, that was a nicer way to go about it. <clears throat> Can't wait to get out of this place. Gives me the Desdemona. Creeps. Come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Oh. Oh. Uh, right. Okay. Tradecraft it is. There's not functional. Uh, must be for that. Right. Watch good. Now we get to do trade craft, which I think kind of completes the whole Lexington area. Because obviously that's the bunker that's underneath the, uh, the Slocum Joe and yeah, quite a, a cool wee place. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hey. Whoa, what was that? Mind if we talk now? Can we do this later? Yeah, of course. This ain't pressing. Hey, mind if we talk now? Yeah. Of right. course. What's up? Look, I uh, needed to mention just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True. But it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Uh -huh. Well, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic. Ran the town for I don't know how long before that. Guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd use to keep people in line. Every so often he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. 
Folks with homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. Ooh. And we all just stood there, did nothing. You can't blame yourself. Sounds like you were outmatched. Probably would have killed you too. You're right. But it was still spineless. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins, started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. Why not try and reason with Vic instead of creating a militia? Hey, if I thought for a second that would work, I would have tried. Or at least, thought about trying. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. And burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. <laughs> Once we uh, mopped up, we class. strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house, wrapped a rope around his neck, and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my work. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. And you're never gonna have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. <laughs> I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You wanna get moving? Well, it was good to get to know a wee bit more about Handcock. Brought us into the morning here. Uh, Tradecraft, Finch Farm. Anything else happening? Grey Garden and Coastal Cottage. Right, well, Coastal, Coastal Cottage was first on the list to be defended, so we'll nip up there, defend that, then Grey Garden, and then we'll go do Tradecraft. What the? What are we fighting? We got an upgrade, or got a level out of it. Anything else happening? Okay, Coastal Cottage got defended. Where are you? I'm confused. Do they repair over time? What happens there? Anyway. Doesn't matter too much. I want to kill this death claw that normally spawns. Maybe see if we can get some Yaogai meat just whilst we're here. You there! You glowing one! Arguably, the Algwai meat around him is more valuable, and it's one of the few places you can actually just farm the Algwai meat. Because I think if you teleport out and back in, most of these spawns. Anyway, Grey Garden, no? 
guess they they must have defended themselves somehow. Um, going down to Finch Farm anyway. Oh, gunners, gunners, gunners! Yes, <laughs> with two levels. Ha, <laughs> sixty-nine. Okay, now that we're here. Really, anything we want at this point. Let's say I was going to start getting rad resistance. Running costs 50% less. Uh, don't know if that matters. Hip accuracy improved. And damage improved when firing any gun. Does that stack? That sounds like it stacks. It actually sounds like it's a disgustingly good stack. Uh, I need my armor. Is it my armor? Gun nut. Armor up to four. Would just be nice overall. Mm. Mm. Start taking in the sands points because I'm probably going to change from like the next weapon after this will probably be like a really, really good laser plasma rifle. Because I have like 10,000 ammo. So, you know, that's uh, definitely worthwhile. That's it. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Oh, Dominator? Ooh. Who's there? Get you back here! I'm gonna save because you you know. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that again. Right. Clearly trying to go close quarters with this one is ill advised. Was close. Really close. Have we been all the way to the end of this yet? I know there's a few things. A few tractors. And then over there, there's some items on that bus. Uh, but you need a jetpack in order to actually gain access to it. So. How much XP did that get? Eh. Negligible amount. But I'll never turn down to reading through. I got her yes. in company. And last but not least, Gunner kept it in. Okay, I did say I would just start walking down. George Finch Farm. See if we can find anything in the way. The only thing I seem to be able to find is just a sheer drop. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Why did I even think that was a good idea? Right, get you back. 
Only positive of that is idiots have aren't triggered. <laughs> Ooh, I missed an ammo box. think that radio broadcasts anything so nice you know what i would love i'd love an announcement elder scrolls because that let's face it we're not getting a we're not getting like a fallout 5 announcement as far as i'm aware and even if, even if it was it would be one of them ones where you roll your eyes you're like uh five years four or five years away because there's the elder scrolls 6 got announced teased announced um and we still haven't seen anything to do with it as of yet. I'm still eagerly waiting. Um, suppose we can just look forward to a second season of Fallout. But I did work it out, like, in my head. I was looking through, uh, like, how long it took them to film it. So it took them from, like, mid-2022 to mid-2023. Who? Who fired at me? Here, you. Go away. Not even, not even worth my time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so it was mid-2023 when they stopped filming. It's so obviously, you know, post-production and all that. Uh, and then it was released in April there, so another, you know, basically another year almost of post-production. Now, with set, storyline, everything... Obviously, it's streamlined. You know, I would imagine getting the series off the ground's the tougher thing to do. Oh, legendary savage deathclaw! Hello there. Hi there, and bye there. Oh, that's actually a really nice chest piece. I don't need the lock, but I w that is like what's going to be equipped if I choose to, you know, try and. Get all the Porta Diner uh, perfect pies. Which, if I have a bit of spare time, you know, I could maybe do like a like a live stream. We just sit and press the button until I get it. Possibility. There is a steamer trunk up there, but no, no way you're getting to it unless you have a jetpack, which I do need to get. I've never, I have a jetpack in my other series, the unmarked one, but that's because I spawned it in. Won't lie to you, I spawned in because I, I've never got to the stage that I need, nor have gotten the jetpack. So, yeah. Be interesting to find out where it comes from. Something under this bridge, like we door or something. Nah, always has me looking. You never. Never quite know what to There's a forge out here. Serious? Huh. There you are, you little bastard. That's it. Bet you that seen some fun in its day. Hmm. <laughs> Good source of flamer fuel. It's one thing I'll give Saugus Ironworks. Where was it? I so with the series having taken a year to film and a year to do post production, and probably goodness knows how long before that to get an idea and script and everything together. Uh, they have the props, they have the storyline, they have everything. So I'd imagine it's going to be much more streamlined. Well, what does that mean? Well, I was sitting chatting to the family the other day. I would say... End of next year, if they were to start now. Maybe. That's like, pipe dream. If it happens, obviously we'd be over the moon. But, if, Christmas, <laughs> if by Christmas next year we don't see it, it would maybe be April two years from now. That is a very bold prediction on my part, but just looking at the numbers, that's, I'd rather lean towards that being the likelihood. But we we'll managed to talk our way to Finch Farm, which is uh, not a bad thing. Oh, 
Well, you're still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or... Good news? Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Preston. Okay, well, I actually want to farm just some legendaries whilst I'm in this area. So the National Guard training yard uh, shouldn't be cleared. What is cleared? Boo. That sucks. Oh, I did go through it recently. Okay, well. Ah, no, you. Very faint shouting or barking of Teddy in the background. Must uh, must be someone walking by the house. He gets a wee bit spooked at times when that happens. Okay. Right, I'm gonna drop my stuff off. We'll do trade craft next. If some of you recall, we have the uh, Aegis missile launcher now. Obviously, it's not legendary, but we can upgrade it now fully to get some. Pretty nice results. Targeting computer and a stabilizer. Alongside, we can make it like a Christmas present. <laughs> it is... Well, actually, do you know what? I must say, I actually prefer, yeah. prefer that. We'll be taking it with us. I actually know what? We don't have explosive upgraded fully yet. Nah, we'll put it back just for now. Uh, we'll be using it very soon. Um, the legendary chest is vast that's a lot what I'm gonna have to do is see I don't know I don't really feel like collecting every weapon of every kind because that's Another just like thousands plus you'll Never get duplicates it. soon um, so my plan for that is to actually you know just kept myself out with the best of stuff um, in terms of unique it's not like a legendary with a certain thing with probably every single type of legendary it probably is leading into duplicates of different weapon varieties so we're not going to worry about it too much instead we are going to just nip down here to the rocky narrows park where i can kill some yao guai farm some rad stags if they're about then we can go meet deacon do trade craft get another magazine and uh, just go from there that was actually a very nice and pleasant uh, loading screen you can all tell me how the update goes when I'm back. Ooh, hello. This is one of the best places for farming. That's nice. We'll <laughs> Do the living, the spoils. The double meat is just such an underrated book to pick up from uh, Sun Sunshine uh, Tidings Co-op. Like you must, you must get it up and just get that book. It's okay, Big Bear. No. No. Ah, you good bear. Ah. We found Teddy in game. Teddy was in the game, he would be a Yaogwai. We all know this. I don't even think I've got any extra points in the Animal Whisperer. Where is it? You incite it to attack and give it specific commands. That's actually pretty cool. You wouldn't think it would be an animal that we could just so easily pacify. You're good. You know what? Normally I would kill you, but you listened. And for that, you will be rewarded. I need to get Hancock some armor. We still had a pretty cool getup, so I don't even know. A bit like Nick. Do you, do you want to really... Just lead into something or just... Nope. Nothing.
Plus, when we cook all the meat we at Savant, we'll get loads of points for it. Lots of XP. Uh, if you ever see additional XP, once I'm friendly with a railroad, anytime Minutemen, Brotherhood, anyone gets killed, we'll... Oh, this is a good opportunity. Judging by all the carnage you took out the gunners above you? Oh, no you didn't. Ah. Oh yeah. Ah, who's fighting? Don't, don't forget about me. Let's rock! That was easy. Hmm. <laughs> Wait the shit there and I'm like, ah, dude. We ain't alone. Okay. Well, we know not to drop down. We know, well, that board's taken out. Mind the times I've watched a gunner just, woo, just fall to their death. Slight meat than I know what to do with, so. Really, I'm just a hunter. That, that's really what I am. throwing some more points into AP or endurance would be a good idea. Whichever one. No, endurance is health. AP. Action. That's it. Action gets me some nice points. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. What? You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. That's madness he's doing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. Oh. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So, we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So, I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Hmm. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Uh huh. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Got 
another rail sign. Right there. Take this, is it? Couldn't be. I called this the Quantum Bus, if anyone remembers the Unmark series. I'm gonna have to go buy some more ammo soon. And another. Hmm. All the rads the ghoul could ask for. Quantum Bus. Yeah, that's where I got its name. Oh, it must be the wee camp up back. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. I'll actually, I'll show you what happens here um, if you actually don't say that to him. Maybe the time to save is now. Have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Why do you need a Geiger counter? Is this place irradiated? Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, easy there. <laughs> you meant to say, mine is in the shop. That's better. My heart almost burst out of my chest. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. It's all right. We're here now. You're safe. You think I'm goddamn safe? That little slocum Joe's of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome since sons of bitches. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Hmm. <laughs> They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. Uh-huh. I appreciate all you've done. Hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, Better ask soon. Awesome. All right, so we will complete trade craft in the next episode. My hope is to have two: one for Saturday and one for this Sunday. So if you're watching the premieres, that's the way it's going to release. If you're not watching the premieres, then you're just going to get a continuous episode in the next one. Awesome. I'll see you all soon. Next gen update is out tomorrow, twenty fifth. Exciting times we live in. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one.